That's the end of story. The magical pencil. One day, the teacher asked Uma to read the first story in the afternoon. While she was trying to write in her notebook, think, thinking and thinking what to write, she heard a little voice. Uma, Uma. But she couldn't see anybody. Then she heard again the same little voice. Uha, Uha, put down here on the table. Uha almost fell to the floor when she saw a little goblin. She, it was just in green with a little hat and black shoes. Who are you? Don't be afraid. My name is Parker. My name is Parker. When I was walking by, I saw you so worried. So that's why I want to help you. What's wrong, dear? I have to write a story. I don't know what to write about. Take this. I lend you my pencil. Take my pencil. You can write whatever you want. Ruha couldn't believe what was happening. She, she then decided to ask the goblin how the pencil works. All you have to do is ask the pencil to help you. <laughs> the goblin disappeared. Rua took the pencil in her in her hand and asked for adventure song story. Look, pencil, I am a in the jungle. When I am in the boat. Rua placed the pencil over her notebook and she started to write until she finished her story. Next day, Rua read in the story in class. Teacher said, Wow, your story was fantastic. You have to write for for other stories. I will try my I will try my best teacher. And she did the pencil and she wrote funny and exciting stories. One night she liked her dream so much that she decided to write about it. Oh. He forgot the that pencil. The magical. And when she finished, she heard the Hi, Sua. Have you written many stories? Have you written stories? Yes, and everybody can write with this story. I'm glad that you're good. I'm glad that you're not having trouble writing short stories. I think that you can give me my pencil back. The magical pencil? But I need it. I don't think so. The other day you wrote, the, your dream and the pencil did not help you. In fact, you can write whatever you want to because the pencil always lets you what you are thinking. 
You are right. I can write all the stories that I wish, and I can write them all that night. Hey. The goblin took the magic magical pencil and disappeared and was never seen again i am not worried about having to write this story anymore now i know that i can write it whatever i want to thank you thank you These are the parts. These are the highlights of the story. Title: The Magical Pencil. Setting: At home at daytime. Character: A big narrator, Tua as creator, Arjun as goblin. Rob, I'm telling you, sorry. Problem. Do I find it difficult to write a story? Solution: Do I gain confidence and develop her own imagination to write a story by herself? Thank you. Well done, Group A from Grade One. Uh, that was fantastic yes amazing uh, work guys very 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 well done big round of applause for them fantastic uh any question children please put in the chat box with the name of the presenter fantastic Amazing! There are so many good comments in the chat box. Great job! Now, next is from Grade Two, Jaditya Pawar. Jaditya, please switch on your camera and mic. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jyoti Pawar. I am from Grade Two. Today, I am going to tell you. Today, I am going to tell you the the features of the newspaper report. Number one, byline. Byline is the name of byline is the name of the person. Who wrote the Who wrote the report? Place line. Place line is where the report was written, depending on where the incident took place. Paragraph. Paragraph gives detail about the incident. Quotation. Quotation is. Quotation is when quotation is when someone gives gives what no quotation is when someone says say something about the the incident. Let's read the third verse. Well done, Jay. Uh, grade three, grade four. Any question for the students? Please put your questions in the chat box. You all can ask questions in the chat box with the name of the presenter. Any questions for Grade One, Group A, and Grade Two, Jaditya? Okay, 
great so let's move on to group b from grade 1 that teacher i request you to please keep your camera off that please keep your mic off group b from grade 1 Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, can you see? Ma'am, can you see the board? Yes, Dhruv, we can see the board. Good morning, teachers and friends. My name is Dhruv, and I am presenting number one. My number is twenty, fourteen, and ten. I am taking number first twenty ten ten plus ten ten plus ten equals twenty. Equals twenty. And ninety plus one is equals to twenty. One. Twenty. And eighteen plus two. My another my my another number is forty. I am presenting the number line. One plus three thirty is equal to twenty forty. And two plus twelve is equal to forty. And three plus eleven is equal to fourteen. Forty. And my last number is ten. Five plus five equals twenty. My last number is ten. Nine plus one is ten. And five plus five is ten. And six plus one is ten. Is ten.
and six. Plus one is ten. Five plus five is ten. And six plus four is ten. My my friend Arjun is telling you this. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Hello everyone, my name is Damien Gajan. Today I am going to show you number one plus twelve. Ten plus two equal to twelve. Eleven plus one equal to twelve. Seven plus five equal to twelve. Now I am going to show you number one plus thirteen. Any questions? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No questions. Okay. <clears throat> so let's move on with Grade Two, Siddharth Gandhi. Then we are going to read to class, and I am going to talk about talk about newspaper report. And 
newspaper reports are found in newspaper in newspaper report and found in newspaper report and their purpose is inform readers and it tells what is happening around the world around them and i am going to talk about three features first is headline and first is news first is headline the headline it is the it is the title or name of the newspaper report and second is subheading the subheading or sub title gives more information about the article now picture the pic the picture the picture is related to the headline and line of the story of the story it works as as an illustration of the of the of the article done done Fantastic, Sadhar. Well done. That was really good. So, um, we have with us a principal, ma'am. I would like to invite her and ask her if she can say a few encouraging words to our students. Good morning, everyone. So, it was a really a delight to see, uh, our you know our little uh, Sadhar. performing so well about uh, the newspaper and uh, discussing in so much detail and slc becomes a very important fact because uh, the way it encourages us to work and to you know do the team work with the school and the parent and the child and to bring out the potential in the child i think it's a very uh, self exploratory kind of a journey and uh, all the encouragement that is given and uh, you know it right from the uh, the school teacher as well as the parent working hard gives that confidence and that platform to the child to become a true leader and build up this kind of a you know confidence level in the child so i encourage everyone to speak freely and all the best and i'm really enjoying it thank you very much Thank you, Joy, ma'am, for your motivating words. That is absolutely true. Sadhat, well done. Very informative. Very clear. Any questions, dear students? Grade one, three, four. No, ma'am, no question. Can you unmute yourself and ask the question? I don't have any questions, ma'am. Ma'am, I don't have any questions. Okay, let's carry on with grade one, group C. Grade one, group C, all the best. Dear students from Grade One Group C, please put your hands and mic on. Pranish and Arjun Kolwan for the reading for your science presentation. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. 
Hello. Hello. Put your camera on. Kanish, can you hear my voice? Not clear. Continue. Hello friends. Hello friends. My name is Arjun. We are going to talk about shadows. Everyone, can you see my screen? What is a shadow? Shadows are formed when the path of light is blocked by an object. Shape of shadows is the same as shape of the object that blocks the light. Size of shadows depends on the distance of the object from the source of light. Shadows are not formed in dark. Lights, light. light Explanation. Light source, shape, white card screen. The light is giving, no, the shape is blocking the path of the light. And from that, there is a black area called as a shadow.
elements of shadows there are three elements of shadows source of light first second natural source stars and sun second human made light source candle torch flash third and then the object object should not be transparent surfaces any surface type of objects and shadows opaque objects completely blocks the path of light so there is a dark shadow trans translucent objects partially blocks the path of light so there is transparent objects does not block path of light so there is a uh, no shadow Let's have some fun with shadows. Over to you, Kanishk. Over to you, Kanishk. Arjun, stop presentation. Put your camera on, Kanish. Ma'am, my camera is off. This is a shadow of a. Write in the chat box, children.
Now at June. Kanish will show, uh, show something to us. So, so okay. okay. Yes, Kanish. Yes, Kanish. Thank you, Kanish. Okay, well done, Arjun and Kanish. That was really informative and fun at the same time. We all enjoyed playing with the shadows, and I'm definitely going to try those hand shadows at home. Okay, if you have any questions, you can unmute yourself and ask. Children. Okay, let's move on with great to Jaditya, who is going to present science. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Aditya Pawar. I'm from grade 2. Since last 8 years, I've been, I've been, in, I've been in Nigeria. 
a v neděli. Since last eight years, I've been in it. I'm from grade two. Today, since last eight years, I've been in Nigeria. That's why I know something that I want to tell you people. There's one common plant called as yam. That's why today I'm going to tell you about the yam plant. Nigeria. Nigeria is a country on the west coast of the continent of Africa. Its location and geography gives Nigeria a wide range of ecosystems and land types. These can range from coastal ecosystems next to the Atlantic Ocean to the dry grasslands of the savanna, savanna to, tropi to tropical rainforests, to, to swampy mangroves. Plants in Nigeria, yam. Yams are nutrient. Plant, yams are nutrient dense, dense tuber vegetables that come in many different many colors. They they're a great source of fiber. Yams have va various health benefits. It boosts brain health, reduce in inflammation and Inflammation uh, and improve blood sugar control. Yam is a good source of energy. 100 grams provide 118 calories. Tropical rainforests in Nigeria are famous for their empathy plants, which are plants that mainly grow on other plants. This includes orchids, mo mosses, leeches and various species of cacti. The African white moa the African white moagani tree and the Yube tree are both common rainforest trees found in Nigeria as well. Both of these trees are often cut down for their wood and use and the Yube tree also produce produces Edible fruits, also called African pears, that are common in Nigerian food and culture. African white mahogany ube tree. Thank you. Thank you, Jaditya, for the wonderful presentation and so much, so much of information about the plants in Africa. Let's move on. And I would love to call upon Siddharth Gandhi from Grade 1, who is going to present a topic from Mac. From Grade 2, Grade 1. Hi, my name is Siddharth and I Ma'am, want to present a, about fractions. The fractions is a whole. It is part of a whole. Fraction is part of a whole. This, in fraction, we say this one upon one. It is whole. Now, now, this is a half. Half. 
we say in fraction one upon two. Like this. Now I mean no, this is this, this is one part. So we say one upon four. We can say one quarter and we can say quarter quarter also quarter also like this. Now, why is, now, now I will want to show this. This is three quarter. We can say three quarter also and three fourth also and nine is then and three quarter then and three quarters. Now in practice is that three four. Now I'm going to show about mixed fraction. Now this is one apple whole and second half. This is one half apple. One and a half. One and a half. Now this is two apples and one half apple. And then we will say two and a half. Thank you. Done. Very good, Siddharth. That was really nice. And thank you for sharing the quarters. Good job. Children, do you have any question? Please unmute yourself and ask. Fantastic, Siddharth. Well done, all the students from grade 1 and 2. A loud applause for them. Thank you, ma'am. We all unmute yourself and one by one. Yes. Yes, Puha, do you have a question? No. No. Okay. Any questions, children? Please unmute yourself and ask. No, ma'am. 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 Yes, Aryan. When is the class going to finish? Sorry? Wait, Aryan. Yeah, if you have any questions, just ask in the chat box. Any question, children? Please put it in the chat box and unmute yourself and ask. Okay. Joy ma'am, would you like to share your thoughts about today's SLC done by a grade one and two children? Sorry, Karma, can you put it in the chat box, please? Joy, ma'am. Oh. 
Kulsum ma'am, I don't think uh, Joy ma'am is probably able to listen, hear you. Could be a connection issue. Right, right. It could be some connection problem. Joy ma'am, you are on mute. Uh... Okay, I think uh, she is not able to connect or some connection issue. Hina ma'am, would you like to share your thoughts on today's SLC? Done by grade 1 and 2. It was, uh, I will say it was a wonderful experience being uh, among them and the way they've taken it up was beautiful. Uh, each one of them did their best and they have done a wonderful, wonderful job. So each one of you do pat your backs and a big round of applause for each one of you. Great, great, great work. Thanks to all the parents also for their support. The teachers, obviously, for guiding them in and out all the time. So great job, I will say, by the entire team. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye. 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 Uh, just a yes, second, Shrika, just a second. Yes, you please on your camera and uh, Vant, you also please on your camera. Thank you. Thank you so much, you Vant, please on your camera. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Shrika. Ma'am, can I start now? Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, you can start. Hello everyone. Good morning. I am Shrika Bingi. I am in grade 3. Me and my friends, Yog, Kesha, Vanj are going to present advertisement. Now my friend Yog will continue. Thank you Shrika. Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell you what is advertisement. Just one second. One minute. Sorry, ma'am. Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to tell you what is advertisement. Advertisement is something that influences a person to buy a product, a service, or an idea. Something that promotes a product by emotive or persuasive means. An advertisement or an ad is anything that draws good attention towards a product and more importantly it provides information about the product now i'm going to tell you different ways of advertisement first is print advertisement it is an advertisement which is printed on paper like newspapers magazines newsletters booklets, etc. Next is broadcast advertisement. This includes advertisements which are shown on television, radio and internet. Next is outdoor advertisement. It is a type of advertisement that reaches the consumer when they are outside. Finally, court advertisement. Court advertisement is when a product is shown in entertainment and media like we see it in a movie. Now my friend Keshav is doing something interesting. Come on, let's see what he is doing. Thank you, Yog. 
Hello everyone, I am Keshav Bhatia and I am presenting something beautifully packed with vibrant colors and it's yummy. What is it Keshav? Tada! It's Kinder Joy, full of joy. Yeah! Yeah! But, but I but why only Kinder Joy Kesha? Because it's loaded with richness of cow milk and yummy crunchy chocolate ball. It's a combination of a yummy chocolatey snack and a surprise toy. It comes in two packages. Blue and pink. Blue has toys for boys and pink has toys for girls. These toys make you think and tickle your creativity. So, khao khelo khush raho. Kinder joy, full of joy. That sounds nice, but what is the price? Oh yes, my friend Vunch will help you with the price. Hello my dear friends, today I am going to say about the price of Kinder Joy. Everyone can afford a Kinder Joy. The price of Kinder Joy is Rs. 40. That's good, but, but what's the offer? Now my friend Shrika will tell. Thank you, Vansh. We have an exciting Diwali. Diwali is almost near. A double damaka is here. If you buy one, you'll get two free. And really special toys inside the Kinder Joy. Inside the Kinder Joy, open it and crack it and play it. Now, some rusty bubble chocolate are waiting for you. Enjoy! I want to buy it! Ah. Wow! With such an amazing offer, everyone will say, Ye dil mange more. Now let's proceed to the game. It's guess the ad game. Me and my friend will give you one hint about an ad and I need you to guess it. For example, Ikal pickle ping ping. Yes. Gems. Yes, that's correct. It's gems. So likewise, each one of us will ask two questions. Shall we start, Yog? Okay, here we go with the first ad. Have a break, have a... Kit Kat. Correct. Correct. Now the second question. Atali, batali, delicious. Amul. Amul do. Amul butter. Correct. Amul. Correct. Now my friend wants will go on with the two set. Two questions. Refresh your word. Uh, Amul. Friends, you can do it. Let's see. Amul. Amul milk. Let's see. A little surprise goes a long way. Come on, friend. Maza. Kinder Joy. Kinder Joy. Kinder Joy. Now, my friend Kesha will continue. First one is I am loving it. Yes, yes, yes. 
Shrika, you are not mute, Dutta. Unmute yourself. Children, you are not mute. Please unmute yourself. You should start. Yes. We hope you all enjoyed the game. We hope you all liked our English SLC on adverb basis. Is there any questions? Yeah, no question. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Amon the Moment Kindery Man. That was such a captivating activity. Great opportunity. Definitely ordering Kinder Joy for Diwali. Yes, and a very engaging game with mm -hmm. 
Okay, so Joy Ma'am has said, uh, well done. So to move on with, uh, I would also say such a fantastic work, Group A. Let's move on with Group B from Grade 3. All the best, children. And may I start? Yes, Dash. Good, Good morning, my teachers and my dear friends. I am Dash Tan from Grade 3 and Sami Yash and Danasha are my group members for today's SLC. We are going to show and explain different strategies of doing addition. Now I will explain addition by partitioning method. My topic today is addition by partitioning form. We can expand with three or two digit numbers. For example, number 123. Now we will expand 123. One is in the hundreds place, so it will become 100. Two is in the tens place, so it will become 20. And 3 is in the units place, so it will remain the same. So the expanded number will be 100 plus 20 plus 3. Partitioning form. There are two types of partitioning forms. Type 1. In simple addition, we write it like this. But in partitioning form, we write it like this. Now I'm going to explain you how to do addition by partitioning form. First, we will expand 123, that is 100 plus 20 plus 3. Plus, we will also expand 312, that is 300 plus 10 plus 2. Now, we will add. First, we will add 100 and 300. So both of them are in the hundreds place. So, we will add them. So, 300 plus 100, that is 400. So we will write 400 plus 20 plus 10 plus 3 plus 2. Now we will add 20 plus 10 because both of them are in the tens place. So we will add them. So 20 plus 10, that is 30. So we will write 430 plus 3 plus 2. Now we will add 3 plus 2 because both of them are in the units place. So we will add them. So 3 plus 2, that is 5. The total answer of this sum is 435. Type 2. In type 2, we will only expand one number. That is the last number. So we will not expand 123. 
but we will expand 310. That is 123 plus 300 plus 10 plus 2. Now we will add them. First, we will add 1 plus 300 because both of them, as I said, both of them are in the hundreds place. So we will add them. So 100 plus 300, that is 400. So we'll write 423 plus 10 plus 2. Now we will add 2 plus 10 because both of them are in the tens place. So 20 plus 10, that is 30. So we'll write 433 plus 2. Now we will add 3 plus 2 because both of them are in the units place. So we will add. So 3 plus 2, that is 5. So the total answer of this sum is 435. Is that easy? Does anyone have a doubt? Okay. Now my friend Sanmi will explain us. My friend... My friend Sanmi will explain us addition by written method. On to you, Sanmi. Thank you, Adaya. Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. Good morning. Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. I am Sanji from Grace Three. Will now present before you second type of doing that is written method. Sanvi, uh, beta, if you join using two devices, then please mute uh, one one of the device. Yeah, one of the device is muted. Because your voice is echoing. One of the devices muted. Okay, so maybe uh, volume very low of one of the device. Of your laptop, put it on mute, the volume. It should be zero, it won't echo then. Okay, now it's fixed by... Should I continue, ma'am? Yes, Sanvi. Yes, Sanvi. Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. I am Sanvi from grade 3. Will now present before you the second type of doing addition. That is written method. Now, I will add, show you two Different examples of written method. First, I will write numbers. First, I will write two three digit numbers vertically. So, my numbers are 431 plus 224. Final writing tick. Care to write hundreds, tens, and units. One below other. Also, writing the addition, we should always keep bigger number in your mind and smaller number in your hand. Now, I will proceed with my addition. First, I will add the units. So, 4 plus 5 is 5. I will write your 5. Now, I will write the 0 in units place. And then I will proceed the addition in tens place. So 
3 plus 2 is 5. Again. Then again I will write two zeros in one in units and one in tens place. Now I will add the hundreds place. 4 plus 2 is 6. So here I will write 6. To get the final answer, we should add all three totals of hundreds, tens and units. So the answer will be 655. Now my second example. First, I will write hundreds, tens, and units. Then I have taken a number four seventy eight plus three twenty five. Now I will keep my bigger number in my, in my mind and smaller number in my hand. So the answer is 13. Now I will write a 0 in units place and add the tens place. So 7 plus 2 is 9. Then I will write in I will write zero in units and tens place. After that four plus three is seven. So I will write seven over here. Then I will add the two three to get I will add all these three hundred tens and units total to get the final answer. So nine plus one is ten. But we will not write one. So we will not write. Do not write carry forward number in this method. By visual act. Now we will not write one over here, but we will add him. So seven plus one is eight. So the final answer is eight hundred and three. If any queries or doubts, you are welcome. Now, my friend Danasha will explain you addition by traditional method. Over to you, Danasha. Thank you, Janvi. Hello, everyone. My name is Danasha Parik from grade 3. And I am going to explain you about traditional method of addition. <laughs> Danasha, please switch on your camera. Action 
तो भूली गई थी तू पी बी क्या लखवा Yash, please continue. Ma'am, the Nasha came. addition is uh, hello everyone my name is anasha parik from gurugram and i am going to explain you about traditional method of addition addition is finding the total sum by combining two numbers Two plus six, two, two, two hundred and six, two hundred and sixty-nine plus one hundred and forty-eight. 
Now, 2 is in 100th place and 6 is in 10th place and 9 is in 1th place. And, and the bigger number will be in your mind and smaller number will be in your fingers. Now, uh, we have, when we do uh, three digit numbers, then we have to start from ones. And, and, uh, and uh, nine plus eight is equals to um, 70. And, uh, and then nine will be in your mind and eight will be in your fingers. Then, then the seven will come down, uh, and and the one will come about six. After that, now six is bigger number, and six will be in your mind. And six plus one is equals to seven, and seven plus two is equals to eleven, and. And the one will be down, and other one will be up, upper two. And two and two is a bigger number than it will be in your mind. And smaller and one is a smaller number than it. Then then we have to count to one. Then two plus one is equals to three, and two. And uh, 3 plus 1 is equals to 4. Now the final answer is 417. Now my friend Yes will tell you about uh, rounding, how to do rounding method of addition. Over to you Yash. Good morning teachers and my dear friends. Today I am going going to teach you about rounding numbers. What means of rounding? Rounding means making a number simpler but keeping its value close to what it was. The result is less accurate but easier to use Example, 546 plus 395. 6 plus 5 is 11. So we will borrow over 1. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 9, 14. So we will again borrow over 1. And write down 4. Now, 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. So, answer is 941. 500 plus 400 equals to 900. Thank you. Wow, that was such an amazing explanation, Group B. Um, any questions, children, you can unmute yourself and ask or put in the chat box. Well done. Great, there are no questions. Let's move on to Group C from Grade 3. All the best. Group C, your turn. Vihan, please switch on your camera. Vishita, yes. Vihan, please switch on your camera. Can you hear me, Vihan? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. Thank you. Please switch on your camera. All the best. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 
start. Okay. Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. My name is Vihan Satikua from grade 3 and we have a topic from science subject. Me and my friends are going to present you states of matter. Now look at me and my friends. We are showing you something you have to identify which state of matter we are representing. Now, me as Vyan Sati Kuwar, I'm going, I'm going to explain about solid. My friend Deshita will explain you about liquid. And my friend Vanya will explain you about gas. Now, what is state of matter? Matter is a scientific word for what everything is made of. Matter is found in three different states. Solid liquid and gas suppose i have a ice and i put it in a warm room for 10 minutes and then when i come again to see it it is melted means it turns into liquid and then it evaporates and turns into gas now uh, what is solid I am solid, solid, solid. I am solid. What is solid? Solid is solid matter has a fixed shape. Some solid such as sugar can be poured, but they do not always remain in the phone shape and doesn't change in the container shape. Solid the fixed shape, solid the fixed volume. Solid just fixed in place and cannot move around. Now I'm going to tell you some facts. Stretch, strength, hardness. Most of the solids are also made from tiny crystals. For example, ball or a spear shape, cube with square shape. Thank you. Now my friend, Dishita will help explain about liquid 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 where are you thank you solid for inviting me i am liquid i am liquid now i'm going to explain about liquid a liquid is a state of matter that has a definite volume but no shape it takes the shape of its container its particles are not packed together as tightly as solid and they can move around. The particles in the liquids can flow, flow freely. Molecules. The molecules of liquid are quite close together. The molecules of the liquid move very fast. The molecules in the liquid cannot move far before hitting another molecule. Here are some examples of liquid, fresh water, river water, milk, swimming pool, rain water, oil and soup. Properties of liquids. Liquids have a definite volume. Liquids take the shape of a container in definite shape. Particles close together but can move little bit. Liquids can flow. Liquids cannot easily decompress. Here are some interesting facts about liquid. Oil in a puddle. Without a container, oils form a pool or a puddle. Oils are liquids that do not mix with water. Liquid metal. Mercury, mercury is a metal that is liquid at room temperature. Water in a glass. Liquids flow to fill the space around them. Now my friend, gas is going to continue. Gas, gas, where are you? As you liquid for inviting me, 
I am gas. I am gas. Like solid and liquid, gas is a common state of matter. In gas, particles move freely rather than staying close together. Properties, examples and facts about gas. Properties, it has no definite shape. It has no definite body. It has no definite mass. Example, steam, smog, oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen. Now some interesting facts. Now some interesting facts. Gas is usually harder to see. It spreads out. Gas always takes up the shape of its container, no matter the size or shape of that container. When water in a liquid state is heated, it evaporates and turns to a gas. We can also observe we can also observe steam forming when water is boiled in a pot or a kettle. This is sol liquid to gas. Gas to liquid. The cool water vapor changes state from a gas back to a liquid. When water vapor in the air touches the cold surface, scientific term of that is condensation. Condensation is the reverse of evaporation. Now it's time for a quiz. On the basis of our presentation, we have few things which you have to guess which state of matter it is. Over to Dishita, my liquid friend. Thank you, guess. Now, friends, this is Amul Milk. Can you guess what state of matter is this? Liquid. Correct. Excellent. This is liquid. Now I have coconut oil. Can you guess what state of matter liquid. is this? Liquid. 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 Correct. Amazing. Liquid. I have a doll. Can you guess what state of matter is this? Solid. 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 Over to Vanya. Friends, tell me. Gas. Gas. Now, friends, tell me which state of matter is Solid. 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 Thank you, guys. Can you tell me what state of matter is this? Solid. 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 Correct. Solid. 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 Can you tell me what state of matter is inside Liquid. this? Liquid. 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 Now, my friend Dishita will help you the conclusion. Thank you, Soren. I hope you enjoyed our presentation. Here's the conclusion. All matter is made up of atoms. The states of matter can be seen in objects around us every day. Water is the only common that is found as a gas state over to one year. Thank you everyone. I sincerely appreciate your attention and interest this morning and a special thanks to Amandeep ma'am for your support and motivation. That, that brings us to the end. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? That was superb, solid, liquid, and gas. It was so easy to understand. Um, any questions, children? How easy, breezy. Now I can see so many states of matter around me. There's solid, there's gas, there's liquid. Yes, thank you, Vihan, Sandhi, and Dishita. Children, any questions? Please unmute yourself and ask.
Now, ma'am, ma'am says wonderful presentation by Sign Group. I agree. Wow, no questions. Okay, so I'll take the thank you. No, no. Amazing. I think we should That's all that. give a round of applause, but nobody unmutes themselves. On behalf of everyone, I give a round of applause to everyone in grade two, in A, B, and C. You all have done a fabulous job. Very interesting, very clear, engaging, and a very good collaborative work, children. Fantastic. Please pat your backs. Come on. Thank you, ma'am. Most welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma 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 that was really amazing. Now, before we come to the end of this day, the wonderful SLC presentation, I would request if Joy Ma'am is here, kindly come and uh, say a few appreciative words to the students. Okay, so I guess Joy Ma'am is not here. She has some work. Never mind. I'm sure she will appreciate every. She must have loved everything, whatever she show uh, saw. Um, to just to end, well, Grade Three. All of you do not forget to join tomorrow. Amandeep Ma'am's link for Grade Four presentation. Okay. Bye, bye, everyone. Well done. See you all. Have a great day. Bye, ma'am. 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 Bye, 